<laughs> okay. So I've accomplished a lot in my in the last almost 10 years that's been since I graduated from high, from high school. But now I'm 28 years old. And as I've gotten older, when I was younger, like even 10 years ago, I was a heck of a lot skinnier than I, than I appear to be now. I'm not that, that heavy of a person, you know. So when I tell you this uh, first uh, goal that I want to accomplish, you're probably going to laugh at me. Mainly because I probably really don't need to do it. But I want to do it because the naked eye, if someone were just to see me walking along the road or whatever, they'd probably say, well, that guy is pretty skinny. Well, not really. Since I, uh, since, uh, I was like 18, or if I didn't happen until I was like on my own the first time around, I was 19, maybe almost 20, and at the time, you know, I thought about it, it's like, you know, when I get on my own, I'm going to have it pretty good, you know, I'm going to do what I want, eat what I want, you know, no big deal, you know, I didn't really care about how I looked then, because I was pretty skinny, and I figured, well, when I, when I, uh, did that high school wrestling, I weighed myself, and I was like at one, anywhere between 112 to 120 pounds, and I thought, well, that's not so bad, you know, I mean, I, that's a pretty good weight for the size that I was, anyway. Or, you know, I was always this height, you know, about five foot seven, five foot eight. But I got thinking to myself, you know, in the last almost 10 years since I graduated from high school, I probably gained, if I was about 112 to 120 pounds, we'll say about 120 just to round it off. Uh, it's far further than that, anyway. I have gained about 65 pounds <laughs> since then. Now I know some people might be, well, that's just normal. You know, that's just, you know, that's just how it goes with a lot of people. A lot of people are skinnier when they're younger and, and, and they gain weight when they get older. Some gain more weight, some gain less weight. Some people can eat, every, you know, eat a whole buffet of food and don't gain a pound. Others, they, eat a, they, they even look at a, meat, uh, a meatball and their face is already fat, you know? <laughs> but, uh, I don't know which category I'm really in because I've ate a lot of food in the last 10 years, almost 10 years since I graduated from high school. But, not to really consider myself a pig or anything like that. Because not everything that I ate was junk food or anything like that. You know, it's kind of a mix between junk food and healthy food. Or, like, junk drinks or good drinks you know like soda pop or or water or juice or whatever you know and this is one of the first times in, in a lot of ways oh, there's a hole over there, a over there. <laughs> anyway in a lot of ways this is like the first time I've actually gotten this personal ever on this channel but I've been very I've been highly motivated and not by anybody that I or anybody in my family or, or whatsoever or people I work with but I have been motivated by one guy one person and I know some people are going to probably freak out when they hear who has motivated me to actually finally decide to, to cut a little bit of the weight I could cut it all but it's cut a little bit of it anyway yes the man who I took a break from watching and now I've been watching his videos constantly for almost two weeks kind of catching up anyway from where I left off before you guessed it, Shay Carl of the Shay Tards. Now I know, you know, you know, it's easier for him to 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 because uh, he lost a lot of weight. He he lost what, about eighty pounds, but and I was thinking about that. You know, he must have really he had to really push himself to lose eighty pounds. It wasn't easy. I mean, you need good motivation. You need you need people. I mean, you really need motivation, first of all. And you need to set yourself some goals and to, to make yourself, you know, have a better plan or better, give yourself a better idea of what you want, how you want to lose the weight, you know. Like I said to myself, it's like, I know I'll probably never be ever super skinny ever again. Nor would I really want to be. 
But I want to, at least, when I look at myself in the mirror after taking a shower or something like that, or if I have my shirt off for any reason whatsoever, I like to say, you know what? That's a good-looking guy right there, you know? Lately, I, I haven't been able to say that. <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing. You know, I like to... One of the things that I, I, I used to like to do when I was younger is uh, go out and go swimming, you know? used to be a big fan of swimming. And I still am, but I haven't really done it lately because I just, you know, was too embarrassed, you know, to, to show my bod off, I guess, you know, in public, you know? <laughs> and, and that's pretty much the truth. That's why I don't really go swimming, you know, unless it's a private pool or something like that. But I haven't gone swimming really in probably, oh God, it's probably been about, oh, since I was working at the casino probably. And that's been since like 2008, so it's been a long time. It's been over, well over three years, or so probably even four years, you know, or maybe even five. You know. So it's been a long time, but uh, at least it ain't so windy now. Hopefully you can hear me a little bit better. Uh, as we got, so much time we got here. Oh, we got plenty of time. Anyway, so that's the first thing I want to do. And how much weight do I want to lose? You, you're asking, if you're wondering. It's not much. It's not much that's going to take me a long time to lose. It's just a, a little bit. I figure uh, last time I weighed myself on the Super Brothers scale, I weighed 185 pounds. And I was like, geez, where the hell did that all come from? I'd like to lose at least 15 to 20 pounds. I think that'd be my max goal. At least. 15 to 20. No more, nothing further than that. And then just keep on with the routine so maybe I can actually tone up a little bit, more or less. Does that sound a little weird? I don't think it does. And I'm not saying I'll work my ass off, you know, to, to you know, to, to always, uh, to run like 400 miles a day or whatever. No, because I think 15 to 20 pounds can easily, because most of it, believe it or not, is just water weight. You know, most of it. Even though I'm going to start drinking more water to lose the water weight. It's kind of funny how that works. You drink more water to lose water. But, uh, stop drinking pop. Stop having candy. You know, the stuff that... Stop eating the stuff that would actually gain more weight. Help you gain weight than help you lose it. I put myself on a strict plan... Uh, from now on, from this point on, or at least until I see there any results, uh, to actually, you know, to, to, to get my body serious enough to where I, I can uh, start losing some of the weight a lot easier than I thought it would take. Because I'm sick and tired of people who go up to me and say, man, you gained some weight. Or look at, like, when I wear a shirt and see my stomach kind of bulge. Like, you look at it now, you don't really see anything because it's kind of got a shirt, you know, got a jacket on. But really, you know, it's kind of embarrassing. Wear a shirt, whatever, and it's kind of, you can still just kind of see a little bit of my gut a little bit. I never thought in, in my entire life I'd ever have a gut. It's kind of, a, you know, something I've had and dealt with for a long time of my life, but now I kind of want to get rid of it. Because I'm 28 years old. Che Carl is 31 years old, and it took him probably six or seven months to, to lose 80 pounds. And I think for me, I if I force if I stick on this strict diet and exercise routine, and how am I going to exercise? You're wondering. Well, the benefit about this is I don't have to join any stupid gym, you know, or, or pay a uh, fee for months to lose, you know, to go to gym and lose all the weight. At the American where I work, they actually offer, they actually have a gym in there, in the hotel. And I asked the people in charge if it would cost me anything to, to use it. And because I'm an employee, I can use it for free. So I figured, well, hell yeah, I'm going to benefit from all of that. No more stupid gym memberships where you got to pay 50 bucks a month or, you know, or sign a contract for a year to pay them, pay somebody $500 just to lose some weight, I can get in for free. So that's kind of nice. And it's real close to where I live and all that, so I figure if anything do it like every other day or whatever, that does just stick with the plan. So 
that's my first goal. The second goal is something that I already started that I'll probably get before Christmas time, and that's finally buying a PlayStation 3. And the PlayStation 3 is mostly because when I was living with Roger, my, my former roommate, uh, and, and a good old friend that I haven't talked to in a while, but still communicate once in a while. Uh, he let me borrow, he had two PlayStation 3s, and he let me borrow his PS3 and the, for those six months that I lived with him last year. And I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed playing wrestling games, you know, Grand Theft Auto 4 and all that stuff. I heard they make a Grand Theft Auto 5 now. I saw the trailer for that. That's going to be kind of nice. And the new WWE 12 game looks pretty cool. And I still want to play this, the last SmackDown vs. Raw game, which will probably be one of the first games I get. I really like the Ghostbuster game and all that that I had for PS3 and everything. And yeah. I mean, you know, it, it was kind of fun to, to play that. And then you could, you know, play Netflix. You could play Burnable Movies and all that stuff. Uh, you could, you know, just... You could pretty much do a lot. Surf the web and everything. So if I watch YouTube videos, I can watch it on my TV. Instead of actually watching it on the <laughs> on the computer or whatever. So so that's, that's the next goal. And I'll be picking that up by probably December 14th. So it will... That's one of the things that will be happening... Here before Christmas, anyway. And the last and final goal, and some people have commented on this before, or have asked if this would ever happen again. And I, and I said, well, you just never know. Uh, it, it's it's a good possibility, but you know, never say never. And that last goal is that by the start of next summer, the first two weeks of June. I'm going to be putting some money away. I'm going to restart myself with Sam's account. I'm putting the money away. So I can actually uh, save up some money and go on another vacation. And this time, I'm going to be sa saving up a lot more money than I did before. And uh, mostly because it's something that I wanted to do for a long period of time, for almost four years since the last time I went. And where am I going? I got to thinking about it, it's like, you know, I want to go visit with Sean, Sean C. Phillips, but I'm pretty sure, you know, he might be, he might not be available that, you know, when I decide to come up. You know, obviously, yeah, you plan for it, but, you know, you know I wanted to visit with him. I wanted to visit with Brendan, you know, Brendan Mitchell, and do a video together or something. But, you know, now that he's moved, you know, to his, a different place, I mean, uh, you know, I, you know, I don't want to be the you know, type of guy that just comes the hope he does is well or whatever. Because if I stayed anywhere, it'd be for at least a week. You know. So I guess I'm thinking about it. Where's the one place that I wanted to go that I've already gone to, but this time I go and I'd have a lot, even a better time this time than I did last time. You, If you've uh, been a follower of me since 2008, you know where I'm, what I'm talking about. The final goal of what I want to accomplish by the time 2012, summertime 2012 comes around, is going back to Astoria, Oregon. Yes, going back to the Goonie House. Going back to the Kindergarten Cop School. And why? Well, first of all, because I want to film a little documentary there. When I get there, I want to invest in another camera, so I'll actually be widescreen for once. I also figure, well, I live with my parents, and while they're not really charging me any rent, I am still helping them out with a few bills and groceries here and there. So it only makes sense that would be a goal of mine. And it's not that I get paid vacation like I did when I was at the casino, but I, I got to thinking about it. Uh, since my car loan, my loan that I've been paying off for almost four years, will be done as of this December 1st of this year. The final payment will be taken care of. And, finished so I'll, I will be debt free as far as uh, the bank goes I will not owe them any more money if anything they'll owe me money because I, I will be putting money away hoping to save the account that who knows how much interest I'll get from that anyway so that is going to happen we're going to go back one more time to Astoria Oregon and this time we're going to film it 
I'm gonna make it do uh, like a documentary, and I'm gonna try, 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 try the best that I can to uh, to get as much footage as I can, let alone the pictures on a camera, but to get as much uh, footage as I can, and also maybe get inside the Goonie House this time, because I know a lady that's, that lives there, that lived there when I was there before, still lives there, and hopefully she'll be around this time. So maybe we can actually get an inside tour. I'd probably be one of the first YouTubers ever to <laughs> to actually go see the Goonies house inside, you know, and uh, film it, film the whole thing, and, and it turned this into a documentary because I'll still have this camera, but I'm going to be investing in another camera, a uh, flip HD widescreen camera, and uh, yeah. So those are my goals. Because it works out so well, and I see longevity with the job that I have, no, no matter what. And, uh, and and losing weight and all that, it might be a little bit of a challenge at the beginning, but I think I can do it. And, I, and I'm not going to quit, because quitters don't amount to anything. And Well, I used to be a quitter back in the day, back when I was younger. You know, I've learned it's not good to quit. It's good to stick with the goal and accomplish it because you'll feel better about yourself. You'll have more pride in yourself, and you'll feel a lot more responsible. You'll feel a lot more responsible, and maybe as maybe as time moves on, and I feel comfortable showing how my progress is. You know, once I've started, once I know that I'm starting to feel like I've lost a little bit of weight or whatever, maybe I'll show you kind of the, the upper the progress or whatever, how I'm doing. Maybe a before picture, an after picture or something. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, so that's what's going on. Hopefully you guys, uh, has, uh, I don't know what I'm planning on doing here in the next video. I guess it'll just be, <coughs> be a surprise or something. But anyway, I'm Frankie Slauson. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what... Uh, this should go pretty good. This should be a new interesting step in the Frankie Slosser show anyway. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you later.